10 reasons why Gox is a genius and what can we learn from him. Gox is a Mexican art YouTuber with 1.8 million subscribers. He has a unique art style that combines colorful doodle art with funky, sometimes grotesque characters. Besides his artwork, his video editing and storytelling talent make him different. In this article, I will shed light on the immense work behind his videos and show how we all can learn from him. He combines different art formats. Most of his artworks are designed in a digital form and later translated into a physical dimension. Although he is generally known for his doodle arts, he does not stop there. He experiments with paintings, sculpturing, fashion design or even painting with coffee. This experiment keeps him away from comfort zone and he is always on the edge of chaos and order, always pushing the limits of his abilities. He applies his arts to recent trends. He is able to balance two very difficult things. Being innovative, creating his own style while surfing on the popular trends to draw more attention to his art. The majority of his most popular videos are customization videos, which is an extremely popular trend. The great thing about it is that it doesn't really interfere with the art itself, because only the canvas is changed from a piece of paper to an iPhone. But this little change can make the whole process more fun and interesting for the viewers since the stakes are higher. Overarching storyline. His videos are like onions. They make you cry because they are that good. But also, they are stratified. The process of creation is generally a long and boring period. But Gox takes the time to keep you hooked and tell a story along the way. There are many short stories wrapped in each other. There is a core story of creating the art piece. In most cases, there is an overarching storyline that puts the process of creation in context. And there are also many side quests in the story when he needs to prepare something for the actual art piece or has to obtain some kind of equipment. He applies his creativity in every detail of the video. Many artists or content creators are only focused on their major trick and neglect the details. But to create a truly breathtaking piece, you have to polish every single detail, which is an enormous work. But that's what Gox does. The coloring of his videos, the camera movement, lightning, or even the desk setup are all well tailored and precisely tuned to the video. The ads in his videos are all beautifully integrated and fun. This is such a fantastic thing to see. It is good for all three sides. It's good for the viewers because they don't get annoyed, don't have to skip ahead. They can even enjoy the funny and interesting integration. It's good for Gox because he can have a much better ret retention rate, stronger relationship with his fans and better partnerships. And well, for the brand, it's good because the ad is actually being watched. He keeps the mystery around his real personality. Starting with the Gox stage name to his personal life, we don't get a huge window to his world, which is a great thing. Being too open can be a huge trap for many creators. In the beginning, you can bring in immense view numbers by revealing personal aspects of your life, but by doing so, you devalue it step by step and people lose interest in you. If they see all the behind work, the actual work won't be interesting. With Gox, we don't really know anything about his personal life besides the fact that he hates the color green and loves to drink paint water. Hidden Easter eggs. There are many Easter eggs and planned confusing pieces in the videos that are meant to create engagement. This is not a new technique, there are even creators that solely focus on being nonsense, making everyone comment on their frustration and having an extremely engaged audience this way. But Gox uses this tool much more professionally. He hides memes in the background, letting the audience find them and make planned mistakes in the videos, for example always calling watermelon pineapples. These little inside jokes are like double-edged swords. His fans know and enjoy the jokes, while the new viewers get interested and are more likely to become dedicated viewers. 
Next level sound design. The music and the pacing in his videos are fantastic. I have never seen so cinematic YouTube videos. It is kind of hard to believe that this is a one-man show. It is a great example that you don't necessarily need to invest a lot of money to create something big. You can invest your time. Most of his videos are recorded in his bedroom, but the amount of time and brain power that goes into his videos make them extremely valuable. A great way to measure the quality of a YouTube video is to observe the way you watch it. If you watch a video between two metro stations, it's probably not a very special one. But if you wait for a silent and peaceful moment of the day, find a comfortable place, maybe bring some snacks and start watching, you know that it's valuable piece. Gox videos definitely belong to the second category. Beyond Order or my recommendations. In addition to all these aspects, I think there are always more opportunities to widen the perspective of an artist. The 21st century is the best time to be an artist in human history. This is the first time when an artist has the opportunity to really monetize his work and consequently focus fully on it. Here are a few ideas that can help artists to reach new opportunities. Teach your craft. Today in the creator industry, the most profitable products are courses. In my opinion, one of the best platforms is Skillshare. Its main advantage is that it has a built-in search engine and audience, so if you publish your courses here, you are not only relying on your own audience and your course can stay relevant for a much longer period. The second advantage is that Skillshare has an extremely high payout ratio. It pays around 50 to 100 times more for 1000 views than YouTube. One obvious idea for artists to create a deeper connection with their fans is to organize in-person exhibitions. Gox creates mostly physical pieces, so it would be a great way of showcasing. Besides the fact of reaching more people and having a greater impact on them, it provides an irreplaceable experience for the artist. The opportunity provided by the internet to reach an almost infinite amount of people is great, but the quantity cannot substitute quality. In-person interactions are essential. Obviously, we can't forget about the opportunities that the era of Web3 offers for artists. The minting of NFTs can be a colossal opportunity in many ways. You can grow your audiences and interact in a new way. It can deepen the connection since the success of the artist becomes the financial interest of the NFT holder audience. If the artist reaches more people and his art is more, more popular, the NFT's prices could increase and create revenue for his community and himself. The possibilities with NFT smart contracts are infinite. He could, for example, include in a smart contract the possibility of receiving a personal art piece created for the holder of the token. A token could be used as a ticket for an in-person exhibition. The sky is the limit. Still 